Hi, thanks for joining. This is the last part in deriving the explicit forms for alpha hat and beta hat, the least squares estimates or, or estimators of the parameters of a line of best fit. And I've written out all the sort of conditions we need um, along here. And we can use condition five if we take what we can do with condition five is we can take the n x bar y bar over to the other side, and that's equal to the i equals one, to, the sum of i equals one to n of x i y i minus n x bar y bar, and that's equal to well beta hat open brackets the sum of x i squared from i equals one to n minus n x bar squared. Yeah, so then that allows us to divide through by this stuff on the right hand side, and that means that we get beta hat being equal to the sum of xi yi minus n x bar y bar from i equals 1 to n all over the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi squared minus n x bar squared. So it turns out we can actually write this um, top half a little bit more um, compactly where we're going to use expression 2. So that means that we can write this whole thing as being beta hat is going to be equal to the sum of xi yi minus open brackets minus x bar times yi from i equals 1 to n which is equal, which is over, well, we can write this second half uh, a little bit more simply as well. Well, we can write that a little bit more simply, which is just equal to sum of i equals one to n of x i squared minus x bar times x i. So using our relationship up at the top, we can see that basically the top here is exactly the same as this if we were to just factorize out yi which means that it's actually equal to this stuff on the left top which is the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar all over well the stuff on the bottom i could factorize out xi and it would kind of look like this thing in the middle except i've got an xi rather than a yi so it's going to look similar to this thing on the left, except my xi is going to replace this yi. So I'm going to have the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi minus x bar all squared. And this is the form which we normally, which we usually see beta hat as, which is beta hat is equal to the covariance of xi and yi all over the variance of xi. Well, I'm, I, I'm able to write this because essentially this is n times the variance and this, uh, this is n times the covariance and this is n times the variance. So the n's cancel, which means that I can write it in this form. And then normally we don't write out alpha hat explicitly, but I could easily obtain it by taking my beta hat and using expression four. So that would allow me to write alpha hat as y bar minus beta hat, uh, this thing times x bar. So that would be a way we could derive alpha hat explicitly. I'm not going to do it now because it's, it's, it's not actually that important. Um, but more you get the intuition as to how we could derive it. Anyway, that concludes our derivation of the least squares estimators. And obviously next time for our first video where we're going to talk about some of the assumptions which under which least squares estimators are a, a good tool set to use in um, understanding problems.